You know Choco means? Um, <laughs> Five World Explorers, we are Southern Tunisia. We are trying to put this bracelet, guys. <laughs> Today we're going to a coffee farm here in Monteverde. Well, close to Monteverde. This is one of the original Cocoa ones. and sugar cane. And coffee. Wait, cocoa, nuts. We're gonna learn the whole process of how they okay, plant here. it, farm it, make it, and I think we're gonna have a coffee too. You know, at the we end. could just join this whole process and go to the grocery store and just buy this stuff. <laughs> we're know, also this good. This is good, actually. It's so a... they learn that we don't buy stuff at the grocery shop. Yes. Yeah, guys, I'm I'm joking about that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> This started as a little farm and now it's a bit of a bigger deal. So they have tours here in the, I don't know. Don Juan. It's close to my birthday, right? Like really close. Wooden cup? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, <for> wooden hat? <laughs> Cosimo, coffee? Oh. Is it wooden? Heiner uh, is my name. I'm gonna be your tour guide for next hour and a half. Oh, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> what would you put in your mouth? <laughs> you, you can suck on it. Actually, that's why I, I gave you those. Oh, it's good. The more common will be Arabica Robusta Liberi. The three of them will be native from Africa. Arabica from Ethiopia, Robusta from El Congo, Liberica from Liberia. Coffee Arabica produce high quality, low quantity. Robusta produce quantity, but produce low quality. And 50% more caffeine than the Arabica. Liberica produce low quality, low quantity, Fruit is big than the other, it's more difficult to make the process. In Costa Rica, we grow only coffee arabica. One of the bigger reasons, Costa Rica, that's a very small country. For us, that's very difficult to compete with big countries in quantity, but we compete with them in quality. Coffee arabica grow on the mountains, from 800 meters to 2,000 meters from sea level. To get a good cup of coffee, high quality, need to be soils, need to be the elevation, the best elevation to grow coffee from 1000 meters to 1600 meters. Here we stay 1300 meters. After that, need to be how much shade, how much uh, sun. We need to regulate. We need to give it like 50 50, 60 40. Uh. We need 40 cherries to 40? make one cup of coffee. Wow. That's why we need to give you both shade and sun. So the plants produce more beans, but also produce good quality. After that, we need to harvest coffee we need to do manually, not by machines. Because the idea to make a good cup of coffee will be fine the most of the flavors, the ones will be on the bean. In red beans, that's where that we find the most of the flavors. That's why we need to pick by hand, because machines, they don't know which yeah, one are no. green, which one are red. <laughs> <laughs> ah. yeah. yeah, but if you twist, or you can hold it, just keep oh, I did. sideways, then get broke. After that, we need to remove different layers. Pulp, the red part, and the teeth of the cylinder. Get the pulp, and then send them back. Natural fertilizers. We keep the beans in water, and then we remove the mucilage. When we wash the beans, that, that process we call regular process. The ones in charge to harvest coffee in Costa Rica, immigrants from Nicaragua, Panama. They get to the plantation, five, six in the morning, finish at 3 p.m. Farmer pay depend how many buchos, how many cabuelas. Can we pay lunch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -oh, I, I don't think oh, we're getting no, no. coffee today. <laughs> Oh my god. In one day, they pick 10, 20 of these. They need around 
half an hour to hour. Pick one cajuela. For one cajuela, standard price in Costa Rica will be a little less than two dollars. If they collect the ones will be full red, more like a purple than the mixed color, they pay more, sometimes one dollar extra. When the beans are still getting dry, we need to remove the most all the moisture. We need to leave exactly 10-12%, not more, not less. If we will leave more, the beans need longer time on the roasting machine. A longer that we leave the beans on the roasting machine, the beans lost quality, flavors. We leave the beans exactly like that, with the slimy. Mm -hmm. We just send them to the dry area. When the beans are still getting dry, absorb part of the slimy, sweet part. At the end, when people drink that coffee, find notes sweet. And at the end, that's basically more smooth or soft. Mm. We call that process honey coffee. The honey coffee is born here in Costa Rica. How do the seeds get, like, get you apart? Like the seeds go this way and the... Uh... Okay, because here, this will be a very small hole. It's very difficult to go into the bag, but the slimy produce the beans going oh, for the small it. horse, it's squeeze it. Yeah. If you see here, the cylinder has teeth. Just get the poop, just get there, and then keep you back. All the time, from the seeds at the ground, to harvest coffee, three years and a half, four years. After first production, coffee bushes can produce for 25, 30 years. Harvest season, November, December, January, part for right. This will be full water in. <laughs> this one is still getting dry but we can compare colors like that. Look different color. Yeah. So this is how they crush the seeds. Huh? And they make it powder. Powder. Wait, guys, let me tell you something cool. What I've learned is they're experimenting with this coffee to see if it becomes better quality so then they can make this instead so they can sell it for more because it sounds like the better the quality the more it sells so coffee. they have only few plants over there that they make this experiment yeah. with so that means that if you buy coffee that costs a million dollars and <laughs> coffee that costs like one dollar that means that the quality is either better or i guess they're plated with gold or something <laughs> machine. in that machine jeffrey that is the ones in charge to roast the coffee here he rolls 20 kilos at the same time. Temperature will be start from 100 Celsius degrees, then getting higher and higher to get 250. And then still there till the beans get finished to roast. We make green, light, medium, dark. All of them have different times. Different, that will be like two minutes, but those times can change. If it's the first time, right in the morning, it will be like the middle of the day, or how many times that we already roast, or if it's coldest or warm day. Most of the time we say this start from like 80 minutes to 26, 27. Depend of the country, depend of the consumer, those times can change too, because not everyone drinks the coffee at the same time. After the beans those get roasted, we need to just keep the beans down at another cylinder to those lost the heat. This will be like a fan they want to absorb the heat and those get cold. That's the last layer. The one that we remove only on the roasting machine. When we hear the pops, the beans, that's because those get a span open and silver skin comes out. A less time on the roasting machine, acidic flavors. A longer that we roast, more bitter or strong flavors. In medium, medium does where that we find the most all the flavors caramel flavor chocolate mm. flavors fruit flavors that's in medium wow. and that's why honey coffee we make only medium roast to find flavors and also to find no sweet <laughs> wow this is strong oh my wow it's really strong how is it, Luca? Yeah, that tastes like poop again. <laughs> I did not know that it was like this. Can you leave? And just, all of them are just two minutes apart. That, although those two minutes change everything. I have seen the medium roast, that one. And maybe this one sometimes, but this one I've seen the most. Like, I've never seen this one or this one. <laughs> so cool. 
the history of the coffee here in Monteverde dates back to 1937 when Don Juan Cruz was born and he was one of the first ones to create a coffee bean farm. His family, his sons and then nephews continued his legacy and they opened a coffee house. Then they started making these tours where you can come and learn more about how to make coffee. And then they expanded to the sugar, sugar cane, cane and the cacao. Cacao. Wait. He's cutting the sugar cane right now, right at the bottom. Sugar cane, bamboo, both of them will be in the same family. Looks like pineapple too. You can get a stick. Mm. It's a candy. You can chew it. It's all sweet. Yeah. How do you like this guy? Okay. How is it? Blade. Blade. Mm. Chew it, chew it. We need to do this 20 times. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? The other way. The other way? Mm -hmm. I need to switch to it. Push. Push. Oh. 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 Alright. Oh. So now she's coming out. Just wait. You, you oh, there it drops. We might need a tie dart. Okay, now other way. How? Use both ends. Strong. There's juice coming out. Yeah. Oh. 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 So I even juice. There was juice. Oh. Yeah. What did he put uh, when it was squeezy inside? <laughs> what kind of herbs? Basil. Basilicum. Oh, so much. Basil. Oh, here oh, it I comes. Can smell it. See. You're drinking Pura Vida. Pura Vida, you see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you can taste the basil. Mm. Salud! Salud! Salud. Salud. To make sugar cane, that's basically a boil the water. Sugar cane juice, that would be 80% water, 20% sugar. Here in the mountain, the lowlands will be more warm, can get 40, 50% sugar, the rest will be water. When we're ready to boil the water, we get a mass. We leave it there, those holes, one day to turn solid and then we remove as a block. We grind it and we get raw sugar or natural brown sugar. When we harvest once a year, dry season. We didn't know that they grow sugar cane but they grow it mostly to show people because here the sugar cane they don't need so much water. The less water is the better because when they boil it they produce more sugar. Otherwise if there is too much water they have less sugar. Yeah. It's really cool. It's interesting. Monkeys, humans, they spread the seed from South America to get Mexico. That's in Mexico is where the Mayas, Aztecas, Incas, they domesticated cacao. They will be the ones start making a process of cacao and then when they ready ground those, they make candies. And they use those candies for get energy. Because cacao have theobromine. The theobromine produce endorphins, serotonin, dopamine. That's because the scientific name of cacao, theobroma cacao. Theobroma, that translate in our language, that means the food of the gut. That's because indigenous, they venerate a lot to the gut. A specific one, the Quetzal Quarrel. And actually they make a drink that they call the drink of the gut. And they use cacao and they mix it with different spices to make that drink. But only the king of the tribe drink that. We grow cacao in a fortuna because cacao needs a lot of temperature, a lot of humidity. And also need a special insect that is the ones in charge to make flowers of cacao. Monteverde is too high, is too cold, is too wind. And we don't have that insect. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes pollinate flowers of cacao. <laughs> what is that? Those are the seeds of cacao. You can get one, suck on it, chew it, but not swallow. Tastes good, right? Mm. Five, seven days we need to every day switch containers to 
give you air. That's why aerobic. With this process, the idea will be cook the seeds with bacteria and temperature, kill the embryo for it doesn't grow a tree anymore, and then to find chocolate flavor. If we don't do this process, we don't get any chocolate flavor. The only flavor is one that we gotta get bitter. That's why basically leave the seeds in one container and every day switch it containers. The first day, the liquid, the slimy, turns in liquid. The liquid get alcohol or liquor flavors. And then like every day, we switch containers, we give you air. The liquid is still getting dry and dry and the liquor flavors turns in vinegar flavors. <laughs> it smells like wine. Oh wow, hmm? it's like, like wine. Oh my gosh. Wow. It smells like mine. Can we make, can we make chocolate wine? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. That's basically the same process to make wine. But here, that every day we give you air, lost the liquid part, and then to use the seeds. I think I smashed one. Oh, wait. Many years ago, people used metates for grind. They keep the nips here, fire down there to the rock and worm, and then, by friction, they grind it. Right now, we have artisanal machines, but we just keep the nips, and then, we grind. <laughs> to make chocolate, we need to add sugar and milk. You know choco means? Um, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> choco means cacao. You know latte means? Milk. 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 Choco latte. That's basically cacao con leche. This is 100% cacao, black pepper, salt. Chili, monkey pee. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like monkey pee. Do you like chili. monkey pee? Chili. Yeah. Where about chili? Everything. <laughs> I'm say yes. Oh my. Say monkey pee. <laughs> So, wait, you, does that mean you like uh, grind? You're monkeys too? A lot of monkey <laughs> Salt? Yes. Salt, yes. Salt. Are we playing the whole? This is gonna be interesting. Chocolate. Ugh. Yo. Black pepper? Yes. yes. Really? Yes. Yes. No. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. No? Cinnamon? Yes. 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 We're gonna make a paste. With hot water, get milk. Because that's the heat, the one that we need just to get milk. Ooh. Okay, do you guys like to try? Uh, yes. Paste. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's the paste, the one that indigenous used to make the drink. <laughs> so they were been drinking this with all the spices that you just put in. With the spices. Right now, we're not very interested in buying the chocolate. <laughs> it's sugar. No, yeah. it's monkey poop. Uh -huh. No, it's sugar. It's sugar. Really? Raw sugar. Wow, that looks really good. The bad for me. Well, he added sugar, so it's what? Nutella now. No, it doesn't. It smells like chocolate. It's um, chocolate? Chocolate is Nutella. No, it's not. It's just chocolate. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's better. We <laughs> get. <laughs> You guys like to try as a drink? Wow. Yes. You can get a cup, you can keep a bit in your cup, you and then mix it with water. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the good chocolate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you like to try those? Okay. Dark chocolate, 70%. And coffee beans covered in dark chocolate. Oh, coffee that. beans medium roast. Mm. It's really good. 